What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. I haven't done one of these tutorials in a while, but um, I think this is really useful, and this coincides also with my how to make a banner tutorial and how to make a thumbnail. This is how to make a YouTube avatar icon, or just any icon for that fact, for anything, because most social media sites now use icon. Now, if you don't want to use your face as an icon, you want to do something like cool, like you want to do something like this, like you want to do something like your banner, like with photoshop or paint on that which was i use then this tutorial may help you but of course like all my tutorials don't follow it step by step don't make your thing look exactly like my thing where you just change the name uh, i don't want you to do that i want you to use these tips that i tell you to make your own little maybe have a twist on it okay so before we start this video before i just, you know follow anything do not copy me okay please don't copy me Follow, lose these tips and use it to your own advantage. If you do, if you're, this is your first time using Paint.net, then you know, um, maybe I'll use my thing as a guide and then maybe like add your own twist to it. Okay, but don't do mine, please. I want you to do your own thing. Uh, so yeah. So first off, I'm going to be using Paint.net for this tutorial. If you guys want to have want to use the Photoshop thing, go to another video. So yeah. So first, you want to have a cool font, or if you're not going to have text on it, it depends on what your profile picture wants to look. So if you if you want your profile picture to just be maybe have like um a, a face that you want to do if you want to do your face with some cool background effects you just take a color picture of your face with like a, a green background or a solid color background put that into paint.net add some background effects to it so i'm gonna do something like what i did with my channel which is right here i'm gonna do something similar ish to this but actually not similar at all i'm just gonna be doing so this looks pretty cool and i have the transparent background which um looks coolish actually and i'm just gonna use um letters for mine so again if you want it depends on what your profile picture to look like if you want your profile picture just literally be like a minecraft apple you can do that but it will look good if you make it simple but sweet like this is i, th I think that looks good for me you don't want to have too much and you don't want to make the text too small where they can't read it that doesn't that's not good and um you can't you don't want to make it too simple like just your name and then a blue backdrop you want to make it a good balance of simple but flashy i think i did an okay job with that here so i'm going to show you something a cool trick to do with profile pictures that are really good so get a good font i think tunish is pretty good um that's gonna that's what i'm gonna be using and let's get started so you wanna you wanna make the image size um go to image canvas size make it 800 by 800 it needs to be a perfect square so 800 width 800 height do that i like to get the select tool select everything just delete it or you can do Control a and delete because i want to have a transparent background so right now you get to choose your background if you want your background to be a color with some a texture which is probably what i'm gonna do you can do that so i'm just going to get a color i'm gonna do let's do um a light blue theme for this tutorial so light blue that's cool and i'm just gonna get a texture so i really like the crumpled paper texture theme so i'm gonna i'm gonna still do that it looks cool it looks simple and looks nice so i'm just gonna do Control v on my keyboard go to the layer underneath it Control v on my keyboard keep canvas size make sure you do that you won't see it because the background above us but if you check this box then you can see it so i'm just gonna do oh you can't move it around anymore so i'm just gonna do that check it again to enable visibility if i'm going too fast for you guys you just double click the layer and where it says mode change it to multiply it looks really good you can ch you can change the opacity if you want to make it light blue or just like that and a thing you can do is you can move the paper texture to be above it too and you can make this to be multiply and then you can adjust it like that i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave it like that so once i think this is good enough so and if you want to merge these two layers which i suggest you do you just go on the top layer press this little button right here which says merge layer down and then bam they're all in the one background layer so a cool trick i like to do is you make a smaller square oh hold shift to make it a perfect square get a smaller square fill it with i don't know it doesn't it doesn't matter which color a white color okay and then um deselect now go to effects object align center both okay now the um your little square will be perfectly centered so now you just gotta um select black or an outline color to go outside and then you just delete the white and bam now you have a black outline that will and i'll show you it might not look good now but once you do once you do this little tip which i show you go to effects object drop shadow and add a drop shadow that will look really cool on your profile picture i promise you 
and if you want you can make it a bit bigger make it you can just you know readjust the size to whatever you want I think that's a pretty good size um, if you make that you can even make the outline white if you want which might be better so just put lightness all the way up to make it white whatever you want I think white I think I'll go with the white for now change the what do you do you just go to uh, effects then you go to adjustments um, hue slash saturation or you can do control shift and U on your keyboard to bring this up so yeah and I, once you've got that I'm gonna merge these two layers so we have the background all fine and dandy so now I want to make a layer in the middle of those two and I'm just gonna add my text so I'm gonna go to my tunish font and I'm gonna type in JTO that's really small so make the size bigger I'll make the size as big as it can go okay so you can see it better bold it okay I'm gonna bold it yeah sure that looks good and make its color actually no, I'm gonna make its color white for now so then I can select it and then I can add a gradient to it if you click the gradient tool once you selected your text click the gradient tool here um you don't have to do this, this is just advanced stuff that I probably am confusing you with so I'm just gonna do you can make it any color you want so I'm just gonna make it a gradient like that because it looks cool for me I'm gonna add an effect you can make you can leave it like that if you want to, if you go to effects object drop shadow and if you want to know how I get all these effects on like I have too many effects right here um, if you want to know how to get all those uh, watch my previous how to make a banner video then you'll get all these effects but if you go to object drop shadow which some of you probably won't have um, you can add a drop shadow of that which I'm gonna do like that I think it looks pretty okay. I think the color scheme is wrong. I should make this color control shift U on my keyboard. Default that. I can change the hue to be whatever I want. Um, that looks okay. I think it looks okay. Hopefully you can see that. So yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the text, go to my move selected pixels or M, and if you go out to if you if you do this, this is how you adjust the size. But if you go out a bit more, you see there are two black arrows, which now you can rotate it. So I, I, it looks cool if you rotate it. So I'm just gonna rotate it a bit. Like I think that way is good. Maybe a bit more. Add some rotation to it. And there you go. You might stop if you want now. And yeah, if you go if you guys are fine with how your profile looks, you live like that. But now I'm going to do something where I make oh make a new layer underneath the text this is this adds a cool effect um, and make it I think black would look good make it black so make like a black rectangle underneath your text like that so now what you want to do with your black rectangle is rotate that too to the same amount here so now it looks like your text is going over a little black stripe which looks really cool in my opinion so like that and I'm gonna add a drop shadow to that too all right and I'm gonna go to um, adjustments go down with these arrows transparency oh that didn't work adjustments transparency and look at that now you have a transparent black rectangle over a cool backdrop and you can see everything and it looks really cool so you can stop there if you want um, I think it looks really good in my opinion so far again you can you can add like little um, other pictures which is probably a good idea or if you want you can just um, do this where you get the line tool get a white line make it dashes white for 35 and then add like lines right there and then duplicate it and add more lines there and there you go now you have that cool thing merge them drop shadow and cool now you got that awesome little profile picture so this is this might be a really complicated for you guys like, this toy was really complicated for you, you first time paint.net users um i'm really sorry for all the complication if you guys want to know how to use paint.net and make and make it more simple uh, i suggest you watch paint.net beginner tutorial videos 
and how to install plugins so we'll move around that so this is i think this is a cool um profile picture for me this is gonna be good so now once you're done with your once you're happy with your profile picture um you gotta go to file save as and save it as a dot png and just name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it tutorial tutorial youtube avatar dot png and let's save that to my just youtube extras save it um it should be under half me um, a, a megabyte easy hit ok flatten and there you go now you are done with your profile picture there you go now you see you have your snazzy looking profile picture you're ready to upload to youtube now the perfect 800 by 800 pixels is the uh, youtube that that's the actual amount that youtube recommends so yeah use that now you have your amazing look up looking profile picture and i assure you the white back the white outline with the shadow looks really good like trust me now you have your profile picture done ready and looks really good and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it might be a bit advanced but if you're having trouble just pause the video and if i'm going too fast i'm really sorry about that you can pause the video and watch them paint on that beginning tutorials but this is just a guide on how to make cool uh, profile pictures like what i do thank you guys so much for watching hope all of you enjoyed watching this i hope you you know can make a cool profile picture and yeah leave in the comments um telling me that i followed your tutorial and look at my profile picture and then i'll certainly look at them Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.